feel the music. Educating the music, enriching lives, bringing dreams to reality, giving more meaning to life. Educating the music, enriching lives, bringing dreams to reality, giving more meaning to life. Touching hearts, touching souls, turning thoughts into smiles. How are you all doing today? I hope you and your loved ones are all safe. I'm Prajakta Gavande and I'm music educator in Futado School of Music. And I'll be your host for the day. I welcome you all for the seventh episode of Fun Learn Day. I'm sure you have experienced some really amazing sessions over the past few weeks with drums, percussion, guitar and today we are going to introduce you to this cute little string instrument called ukulele and for that I have an expert with me who shall be teaching us some really interesting things. So are you all ready for that? Let's begin. Well, his name is Mr. Raj Bhausar and he is a versatile guitarist and a music educator in Futado School of Music. He did his diploma in music performance from Swarnabhumi Academy of Music in Chennai, where he learned from the prominent guitarist from New York and around the world and has been teaching and doing TV media projects since seven years. He has done his certification in flamenco guitar studies from Spain and has worked as a radio jockey at Barcelona City FM. Of Gino Sebastian Cruz and George Sanchez has been his mentors. He is pursuing ABRSM Music Theory Grade 5, Classical Guitar Grade 5 and Rock School Ukulele Grade 5. Wow, that's about it. Now without wasting more time, let's welcome Rat sir. So, that was one of the most famous songs by John Lennon called Imagine and this was the ukulele version of that song. Now, what is a ukulele? Let's learn more about it. Hello everyone. So, in today's class, we are going to learn about this small but a very interesting instrument. This is not a mini guitar. It's called an ukulele or like a lot of people call it, the ukulele. Basically, it's a, a four-stringed instrument which looks kind of like a guitar, but it's way too small. And it comes all the way from the islands of Hawaii. Although, originally, the ukulele is not from the islands of Hawaii. It originates in the country of Portugal. Yes, so in the 16th century, some of the travelers and the people who were looking for work uh, were migrating towards the new world, that is the Americas. A lot of them uh, went on to different, different places. And some of them uh, decided to settle down in the islands of Hawaii, where they had uh, taken with them the, the small instrument, which was then known 
by another name. And when it reached Hawaii, the king of Hawaii was so impressed by this instrument that he decided to take it up. And he used to sing and play the song for his people all the time on this small instrument and he called it the ukulele. Ukulele is fashioned by other uh, types of Portuguese instruments like Kawako, Kawakinho, Charango and there are many such instruments which are such small in size, most of them with four strings and sometimes they are doubled with eight strings. So ukulele falls in the same family. And because the king of Hawaii uh, fell in love with the instrument, the people of Hawaii fell in love with the instrument and they started composing all sorts of different folk music, they started telling their stories and they started playing a lot of music on the ukulele. Because of which then ukulele got to be known as the Hawaiian instrument and it became to be known as the, uh, the biggest signature of uh, Hawaii. The sound that comes out of ukulele always reminds you of something that is Hawaiian, something that is tropical, something that is easy going and sounds nice. So that's ukulele for you folks. So if you play very nicely and very slowly, it's always a soft and a sweet sounding instrument. Make sure while playing you don't fall asleep. <laughs> Just kidding guys. So, so anyways, let's learn uh, what we can do with this uh, very beautiful and a dynamic instrument. We are going to learn some very basic songs or rather not songs. We are going to learn some techniques through which we can get like a really nice sound and while doing those techniques what are the things that we can sing along and after that we are going to learn a couple of rhythms uh, some of the most basic and the easiest rhythms that you can do on the instrument ukulele so let's not waste any more time let's get directly to that all right so in today's lesson what we are going to do first is we will first learn how to hold the instrument then we are going to use only the right hand and using the right hand, we are going to play out all the strings one by one. And uh, by doing that, we are going to be able to sing a very beautiful and a sweet sounding tune. So let's see what that tune is and how we can do that. Now, one way to hold the ukulele is to hold it on your left leg and wrap your right hand around it. And uh, once your right hand is around it, it becomes sturdy and stable. So uh, you don't have to worry too much about it shaking or moving. So uh, that's one way to hold it. There's another way how I hold it sometimes is I have a footstool. Now footstool is uh, if you look it up online, you can put a foot, you can buy a footstool, you can put it below your leg, put your left leg on top and you can put your uh, instrument on the footstool, which for me, it's very comfortable. If, uh, if you feel like you want to go for that kind of uh, uh, a way of playing, you can definitely check it out. You can look up a couple of videos online so you'll get a better idea. All right, so for the sake of convenience right now, I'm going to hold my ukulele on my right leg and I'm going to wrap my right arm around it. All right, we have four strings. We have various frets. We have all these parts of the ukulele. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to play down from string number four to string number one, one after the other. And uh, you can use a plectrum or a pick if you want, but because these are nylon strings, it becomes easy to even play with the thumb or an index finger. So right now we'll just stick to the right hand thumb and we are going to play all the four strings one by one. So before you start playing, just listen to what I'm doing. And then when I say play, you can follow me and play it back. All right. So ready, steady, ready, listen. Four, three, two, one. Ready, steady, ready, listen. Four, three, two, one. Ready, steady, ready, listen. Four, three, two, one. I'm just playing string number four, string number three, string number two, and finally the string number one. Now, instead of saying the boring numbers, we can say some very fun and uh, some really nice sentences. There are some lyrics with some deep meanings. We can say some of those lyrics. For example, ready, steady, Ready, listen. My dog has flea. Now those are some lyrics with some really deep meanings, isn't that? <laughs> okay, just kidding. So uh, uh, this is one of the most common things that people use is my dog has flea. That's one way. The other way is you can use the word ukulele, just the name of the instrument. Ukulele. It's fun to play. 
My dog has fleas. G C E A G. And that's how you can make up your own sentences and you can just have a lot of fun with this. All right. So I hope you follow this. Now it's your turn to play it back. So after I say play, you are going to play right after the word play, not along with the word play. Okay. So let's begin with it. Now it's your turn. If you don't want to sing, you uh, you are free to not sing, but at least play it correctly. And if you feel like singing, you can join in with my dog has flea, for example. All right, let's begin. Ready, steady, ready, play. Ready, steady, ready, play. Ready, steady, ready, play. Ready, steady, ready, play. Wow, that's great. Wasn't that fun? And uh, it looks like you're getting better at this. It's not too difficult. Now, what we just did was with the right hand only. Now, this time, we are going to include the left hand and we are going to change the way the right hand ends up playing. So what we are going to do next is something called rhythms. Now, when it comes to rhythms, we do not play each string one by one. We play all the strings together in one go. That's one of the most basic way of playing the basic strumming pattern that is out there. So when you go from the top uh, to the bottom of the ukulele, it's called the down strum. And when you go from bottom to the top, it's called the up strum. But we are not going to look at the up strum at least for today. So let's just take a look at the down strum and what we are going to do on the left hand. Now, on the left hand, out of uh, we never use the thumb because thumb is generally behind the ukulele. It's not like this. It's not like this. It's always like this. So the thumb is exactly behind the fretboard of the ukulele, right in the center of the fretboard, and the palm is free. So out of the four fingers that are in the front of the fretboard, we take the finger number three, which is the ring finger, and we put that finger on the fret number three of string number one. Remember, fret number three, string number one. Fret number three and string number one. That's absolutely right. So now this is called the C major chord. What we are going to do with this is, I'm just going to play down strums with it. You can first listen. And after that, when I tell you to play, you can follow it. Okay. So with the C major chord, all I'm going to do right now is just going to strike all the strings in one go. And just like that. So, ready, steady, ready, listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready, steady, ready, listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, what I'm doing is I'm just holding C major and I'm strumming down for a total of eight counts. And uh, you can try and do the same. So let's uh, have you playing the C major chord for eight counts, all right? So be ready with the C major chord, third fret of the string number one, and ready, steady, ready, steady, ready, play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now we can try one more time. You can play one more time and then I'll show you the next part. All right, so ready, steady, ready, play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good, so you're getting better at this. It's just eight counts and one chord sound. Now similarly, just like C major, we have one more chord, which we would usually call it as F major chord. But here, because we are only using the one finger and changing the shape a little bit, we don't have to get into the details of it, but we call it F, F add nine, but I would just call it F chord right now. For the sake of convenience, we'll call this the F chord. So F chord is take your index finger on the left hand, put it on the fret number one, string number two. Fret number one, string number two. And remember guys, just to revise, we count strings from bottom to the top. So whenever I say string number one, it's the one at the bottom. 
The one above that is called string number two. The one above that is string number three. And the top string is called string number four. The top string is never called string number one. So you can remember that. Okay. So F chord is on fret number one, string number two. Okay. Now we are going to do the same thing with the F chord, wherein I will play first a total of eight counts. And then I'll ask you to repeat behind me so that we are on the same page. All right. So ready, steady, ready, listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready, steady, ready, listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As easy as that. We held C major, a one finger chord. Then we held the F major or F add nine, which is another one finger chord. And we played eight counts in both. So let's have you playing the F chord for eight counts. And uh, let's see how that goes. So I'm going to count down. Uh, and when I say play, you can begin playing after that. So ready? Steady, ready, steady, ready, play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect, really good. Now let's try one more time. Ready, steady, ready, play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Very good. So we learned two chords. Now the last thing for today, what we are going to do is we are going to play both the chords one after the other without stopping in between the chords. So you have to go from C to F and you cannot even stop for even one single second. Okay, so just watch and observe how I'm doing it. After which you can try and play it back for me and let's see how it goes, okay? So the first is C major. And the second is F major chord, and I'm going to play both of them for eight counts into uh, eight counts for C and eight counts for F. All right, ready, steady, ready, listen. C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just that much. Ready, steady. Ready, steady, ready, play. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, two, three. Very good. So let's uh, begin this once again. I'm going to play once. I'll ask you to play once and then we'll wrap it up. All right. So ready, steady, ready, listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, F. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you observe, I use my right hand on my fretboard very often. Sometimes you can use it on, uh, on this part where the fretboard and the body of the ukulele are there together. You can also use it on the soundboard. But just try not to use it close to the bridge because it gives a very thin and a diminished sound, which we do not want. So these are the two chords. Now let's have you play it for the one last time. Okay, so ready, steady, and ready, steady, ready, play. C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. All right. So with this, we uh, kind of wrap up uh, a glimpse of what uh, the ukulele lesson looks like and what we did today. 
and i will see you guys soon for the next session where we are going to learn a couple of songs based on the chords that we learned so you guys better keep on practicing and get really good at these chords and once you're really good at playing the chords it will become really easy for you to play out the songs all right wasn't that amazing hope you will practice the lesson stored because guess what next week we will be learning few tunes with these chords and the strumming patterns so make sure you are there next sunday before we end the session let's hear raj sir play one of his favorite tunes So that was fly me to the moon. I hope you liked it. I will see you guys next time. Take care, stay safe and bye. That was fabulous Raj sir and I really feel like flying to the moon with this small instrument right away. Well my dear viewers, there's a great saying, practice makes a man perfect. I'm sure with practice and the right guidance, each one of you will be able to play a song like that. and when it comes to guidance and performance we are here to help you anytime reach out to us via our facebook page instagram page or through our website fsmbuddy.com i shall show you some glimpses of it in today's times creativity is the need of the hour and what better way to cultivate it than by indulging in various forms of art presenting FSM buddy your one stop destination to everything that screams creativity music art craft sound production dance languages drama log on for live lessons which give you instant feedback and personal direction all from the comfort of your own lovely home These sessions are conducted by an amazing community of teachers. Come on then, unleash your creative power. Start your online learning journey with FSM Buddy today. I hope you have made a note of it. It's time for me to say goodbye and I shall see you soon. So goodbye and take care.